Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So this is going to be very quick. This is like the prelude to the video that you're going to see in a minute. Um, let me quickly tell you why I'm doing this. Uh, by the way, I look like this because I've just um, recorded tutorial for this look. So that will probably come up after this video. Anyway, so I'm trying, as you can see, to video with my HD camera. So the quality is better for you. And I've talked about it before and I will talk about it in that video that you're going to see uh, the problems I've had with it. Anyway, I thought I've sussed it out and I recorded this video yesterday and all the lighting and colours and everything looked fabulous when I looked in a, a viewfinder and that's to do with some settings that I played with and I was really happy and when I was editing it, when I was editing it, editing it, yes, um, it looked fine too, so I uploaded it um, onto YouTube, it, it was unlisted, so you couldn't see it yet, and then I went to watch it back, and I wanted to cry, basically it looked so grainy, didn't look HD whatsoever, so when I looked back at the settings again, although I've sussed out the colours and the lighting, I didn't put it in HD setting. <laughs> so I was so upset, I really wanted to cry and it was, it is quite a long video anyway, so I didn't want to record it again. Um, so please forgive me that the quality is not so good, I will try better next time. Okay, so now you can carry on watching that video that is not so good quality. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Misha. Okay, so, um, I've got so much to tell you. So today is Friday, but I probably will post this video on Monday. Um, I usually will be probably filming on Mondays but today I have a free day to myself it's really nice I've done my ironing um, and I'm gonna cook nice dinner for my husband today so yeah the weather is beautiful everything is nice I'm filming on my other camera um, I'll tell you about that later because what I thought I'd do, I will go through my favourites and the stuff that I want to show you first because I think, because when, once I start talking, I, I'm here like for 30 minute, minutes and maybe not everyone wants to listen to all the drivel uh, <laughs> that you just want to know about the favourites. So I thought I'll go through all the favourites and then I tell you all about the saga with this camera and other stuff. Okay, so this week I've been enjoying um, my two foundations. And it's these ones. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear and Guerlain Lingerie de Pau. You can see this one is very dark. This one is in 5N1. And this is soft tan. I I don't know if they still do this color, but it is quite dark, but I still have a bit of tan, so, and I want to use it up because I think it's over a year old and there is just a little bit left, and I really, really love that one, and whenever I mix uh, lingerie de Pau with, with Estee Lauder Double Wear, it, it gives me really nice finish, so I have been enjoying that. Oh, let me tell you, this one is in number 03. Actually, I'm going to swatch it all for you, so you can see. Okay, so can you see that's the Estee Lauder Double Wet in Tan and this is the Lingerie de Pau in 03. So when I mix them together, I get just a nice colour, can you see? And beautiful consistency because obviously Estee Lauder Double Wear is a very full coverage um, and quite matte, whereas the Lingerie de Pau 
is like a natural skin finish so it still gets good coverage anyway I do another you see I do another video about all my foundation separately anyway I've been loving these two let's put them away um for my eyes what I've been loving all week is this old favorite is the Sonia Kashak You see I can have you I can have it all beautifully uh, zoom, uh, zoomed in um, ion neutral yeah zero to palette and um, I remember this palette was getting so much love here on YouTube ages ago and of course I couldn't get it anywhere and Ian I found a eBay seller and I bought it <sighs> And as you can see, is a very loved. But I forgot all about it till uh, when did I get it? Oh, when it might have been my makeup last Monday uh, when I used the um, Milani Bella Taupe and I used it with this palette. So. And I've got it on today. And what I also used, what I've started using with this, is where are they here? Uh, my shadow shields and they are great especially if you want to do this uh, precise cut eye type of look they look just like this and they bend and you peel the backing off and it's and it's all sticky and you stick it under your eyes and you you catch the fallout and also you can have this precise line so I've been enjoying these this week and this thing oh my gosh so you know Lisa Lisa do you want to send me this I've never heard of it never seen it but you can't get it here you can't get it in the UK for love no money I can find it on eBay, but people charge ridiculous price. I mean, I, I saw this on Ulta, I think, and it was, I don't know, it was something like three, three, four dollars. Um, because this is the smaller one, the five washes. There is bigger one that is 20 washes, I think. Um, but on eBay, they want to charge something like 17 pounds plus eight pounds postage. It's ridiculous. So I might have to go begging to some of my friends because I absolutely love it. I did my feet with it a couple of times this week and it is so, such a pleasure to to use. It's it's a sponge that when you get it out, I'm sure in the US you know, but if, for people here in the UK, it looks like a, um, there's no picture here like a flower shaped sponge but it is very hard and one side is more abrasive than the other and you submerge it in water and it softens when a bit like a starfish you know from Spongebob <laughs> um, it softens and is um, impregnated with um, olive oil, sheer butter, tea tree oil, glycerin, glycerin um, so you can wash your feet and scrub it and give it aromatherapy treatment. Fantastic. So I really, really love that. Uh, what else? I've been and now eventually, um, I started enjoying my Hourglass ambi Ambient Lighting Palette. And I usually use right now uh, this one, which is Radiant Light. And I sort of use it all here like through the middle i found it personally too light to use in a summer when i was much darker um as far as i i know this is not a highlighter these are like finishing powders they're supposed to give you that soft focus finish um so i found that when i'm dark they are too light but i've started using it now I like it, I like the fact that it's hourglass, I like I like the powders, but do you know, I know whenever something new like this comes out, we are all going crazy for it and really want it. I tell you something, there is probably lots of dupes like of powders that can do, you know, things like it. 
they are just finishing very finely milled powders they give you that gorgeous you know as if you were in a soft lit room it is very expensive and honestly if you don't have it don't think that you're really really missing out it is lovely and it is lovely to have if you can but you definitely can live without it okay um my lip combo i've been enjoying this very much and it's very unusual just one day i had both of these products in my car and I was driving and I thought, oh, I've got no lipstick on. So when I, um, it was actually when I went to pick up my son from school. So when I was in a car park waiting for him, I thought, oh, I put this on. So the first thing was the Rimmel, what they call them, Lasting Finish Color Rush. And mine is in Give Me a Cuddle. I don't know if you will be able to see it. I just roll it. Okay. And give me a cuddle. And it is this beautiful sort of corally pink. So let me swatch that. You see, it's a corally pink. Very, very pretty. Actually, these Rimmel sticks are really nice they are not matte they are quite shiny uh, quite moisturizing and they stain your lip as well so even when that comes off you still have some color and then of all things i've been topping it off with my dior what they called fluid stick dior fluid stick and mine is in kiss me i won't even attempt to show you because it's so tiny um, but I think it's the lightest pink that they do um, I love these you know I love them and I only have one because I didn't think they had enough pinks like light pinks mid-tone pinks it was just that one or there was one I think like a very beige one maybe lighter than this, very nude. And the rest were quite um, quite in your face. So that's when I put it on the top of the other one. So let me swatch these next to each other first so you can see how a bit different they look. Okay, so there is the Rimmel color burst stick then then there is your kiss me and that's one on the top of each other been loving it it's very moisturizing it's very shiny let's get some art on mm. oh i i love the the feeling of of this fluid stick i don't know how to explain it it's like someone is Oh, I don't know. It has like this cooling, drenching sensation on your lips. I just love them. Okay, so that was this still. Then I got a couple of things from um, Ila Masca. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my red lips. Oh my God. This is so gorgeous. I don't normally wear red lips and a lot of you said on Instagram that I should do it more, that it really suits me. Anyway, I got the Ila Masca colouring pencil, that's what they call them. And this one is in um, Feisty. Feisty, Feisty, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's very tiny here. So let this fall because there it is. Okay. Let me do it a bit thicker. It's actually, I thought that it would be a bit darker. Um, I think it's got a bit of pinky red to it. I want it to be like a, you know, true red. And then this is amazing 
this is the intense lip gloss and this one is in touch and you know I've got um, the other one that is like a purpley one what was that one called um, oh I can't remember but if you look on my Instagram I love that that gloss I just didn't like the brush remember the brush was going a bit mental but this brush it's okay so this gloss has the most insane coverage insane shine and it has like is it shimmer pearl it looks a bit like nail varnish really like nail polish and it is just so gorgeous it's so vinyl oh even if i don't wear it very often i'm loving it i can see here in the camera it's coming out quite orange if i go close but yeah about here that's the the real color of it it is so beautiful the only problem is when you're wearing something like this it, you just have to i think stand like this and pose and don't talk because it ends up all over your um all over your teeth and then i bought uh, this and this is from the new um from the new collection and it is called vintage metallics and mine is in color courtier i love it that i can show you things like that and you zoom in okay so basically what it is it's a bit like max paint pod like um maybelline color tattoos it's a cream eyeshadow and this one is sort of beigey pink beigey pink doesn't look like much but it has a lot of shimmer to it and sparkle so if you put it on on its own on your eye and all that sort of sinks in you can see quite a lot of shimmer um and almost like iridescent glittery bits especially if you're in the sunshine it is okay i wouldn't say you know i wouldn't say is anything so different and and fabulous and insane it has a good staying power but so do the MAC paint pods and colored tools. Last thing I wanted to tell you was, oh yeah, another thing that I really, really loved though, that I bought from La Masca, and I think I might have shown you that last Monday, uh, was the new lipsticks, the Glamour lipsticks, and they've come out with about seven nudes, and they are different nudes, not just, you know, the very pale ones but you know what I mean and I got mine in rose pout and I love it it's just my kind of nude it's a bit like um I would say this one is a bit like Tom Ford not nude vanille uh, the other one and I've got it and I can't remember let me go and get it so that's the Tom Ford Nude Vanille Blush Nude. <laughs> what did I just say? Tom Ford Blush Nude. And this is the Ila Masca Rose Pout. It's a little bit different in a bullet. But this is the Ila Masca and this is Tom Ford. And a lot of you also have been asking me about dupes for Tom Ford Nude Vanille so when I did the big lips video because they are expensive uh, Tom Ford lipsticks I love it and I'll probably when I've run out of my Nude Vanille I'll probably go and buy another one uh, but and I've talked about it before there is a almost exact dupe but I don't know if you can get it in the US um, because it is Kiko, this is Italian make and we have it here in Europe but I don't know if you get, can get it in um, US so 
It's the Kiko Luscious Cream Lipstick in 500. Okay. So there is your Kiko lipstick. And uh, this is Tom Ford Nude Vanille. Okay, look. They look almost identical. And let me now swatch them. Okay. This is Tom Ford and this is um, Kiko. Tom Ford Nude Vanille Kiko Luscious Cream Lipstick in 500. And actually, I almost want to say that the Kiko one is creamier than Tom Ford. There is something very special about Tom Ford, how it feels. Although some of you said that sometimes they are very smelly and it's true. This one, they, they all smell a bit plasticky. I know what you mean. A bit like the like a cheap lipstick almost my nude vanilla doesn't smell too bad but my new blush nude does smell very very plasticky and someone said that uh, there was a bad batch or something like that the good thing is smell goes really quickly so you can put up with it but i know exactly what some of you mean with the some tom ford lipstick smells and the last thing I want to tell you I always forget to tell you now these days about books that I'm reading and I've just finished this fantastic book let me just see here because I've got my Kindle so and that's the problem when you read books on a Kindle halfway through I forget what author I'm reading and what is the name of the book because you don't have the front cover so I need to I put it in my thriller and crime and it is called Because She Loves Me by Mark Edwards. I will put it all down below. I've read another book of his called Magpies and he writes psychological thrillers. And this one was really good. You know, a bit a boy meets girl, boy loves the girl, girl loves the boy, but girl is a bit mental. Um, <laughs> girl is a bit of a bunny boy bunny boiler but it has so many twists at the end it's so unexpected I don't want to tell you much about it because it will spoil it but it is a very good book and Magpies was a very good book as well it was about this young couple moving into to a flat and they had very odd neighbours also I forgot to tell you um, because you've got Charlotte Tilbury now that's to my US viewers um, you have Charlotte Tilbury now and I'm so happy for you. Can you do something about Lorac and, cos and It Cosmetics to come here, please? Um, I have a video of a few things that I bought when it first came out here. I've got a review of, I've got two eyeshadow palettes, three lip liners, lip gloss, I don't know if I bought anything else. I can't remember, but I will link that video below or here. So if any of you, I know there's more and more uh, reviews now about Charlotte Tilbury, but if you want to see mine, I will link it for you to see it. So yeah, that would be all my favourites today. So if you don't want to listen now, all the other things that I'll be talking about, you can go now. Um, but what I wanted to say first of all is thank you so much for your support. I know I was in a bit funny mood um, on Monday, last Monday, because I had some not so nice comments, but there were nothing, you know, awful. There was nothing really horrible. I was just feeling more sensitive. I still don't understand why people watch things they don't like or, or feel the need to criticize. I know you can have your opinion, but I, I like to, before I comment, not that I would ever say anything horrible, but you should always think before you write it down, how is, how is that going to make this person feel? 
is it going to make them feel good upset or what you know if you know that that is going to upset someone then what sort of person are you you just obviously want to upset someone anyway there were nothing horrible i was just they were not very nice but they were not horrible no one was calling me any names or anything but you are so lovely and and when i read all your comments that made me feel so much better so thank you so much you you don't know how much i appreciate it um you don't have to fight my fights but um it was so nice to hear and and i need that sometimes you know because because when you get it's so lovely to get lovely comments but you just need one nasty one that can put you in a really different frame of mind and um and you just help me to get over it and thank god that means nothing i've got so many wonderful viewers um and and you are just so lovely and thank you so much for for your support that means so much to me um right let me talk about this nail channel so i have closed it you probably have noticed there is no more nail channel at least i hope there isn't i closed it i haven't been to check if it's still there but i now have uploaded all the videos that i had there i have uploaded them here to sugar puff and fluff and like someone said yes i should have nail videos here as well because that is very sugar puffy and fluffy as well and i love my nails as much as as makeup so so I thought that would be better. Um, I have to stop doing this. Actually, that was one of, of the comments that I got. Someone said that me doing that is really, really getting on their nerves. And now every time I edit my videos and I look through I almost hear it every time and I try to cut it out but sometimes there's so many I can't help it so I have to stop doing this because it's very annoying and I can see how it can be annoying so generally I've been a bit better because I'm not premenstrual anymore and um, Max is probably back to school this was his first full week because he went back last week just for a couple of days bless him he's he's really hitting because he's in year 10 now which is the AGCC year well where they start they've chosen the AGCC subjects and that's all they do now so he doesn't do all the easy ones like art music because he's definitely not artistic or musically talented <laughs> So he hasn't chosen those ones for his GCSEs, it's just pure hard work. He's doing triple science, geography, um, ICT, business and economics, stuff like that. So, you know, like he said, mum, today I have two science lessons, one after the other, and then I have math, so it's just hard work. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know he did part of his maths, he did statistics, um, GCSE, exam towards the end of um, last year nine um, and he got a so i was really really proud so he's got one gcse well part of math gcse under his belt um but i do feel sorry for him because like yesterday he i pick him up at four then he goes and plays his computer game or xbox or whatever for an hour just to relax i cook him dinner he has his dinner about 5 30 and then his homework but yesterday because he started playing football now as well he has football training a couple of times a week so he had just 40 minutes to do his homework then he had to go and do his football gets back home about eight and you know by then he just wants to wind down a bit before he goes to bed so it is quite hard and um but then i am quite demanding mother and uh, very ambitious for him um i just i just think education is the best 
tool you can give your child well anybody knowledge and education is power so to me this is very important i still love learning i read so much and research things i think you don't appreciate school and what you can learn till you're older but unfortunately this is like with everything isn't it like i always say youth is wasted on young people oh i was going to tell you about all this camera palava oh dear so this camera it's a little handycam panasonic full hd let me tell you what it is it would be on the back oh i don't know it's a panasonic full hd one of those little handycams with a flip up screen so i can see myself here and i have it on a little tripod I have recorded with this camera before and today I can see well I won't see till I properly till I put it on my computer and start editing but it looks like it's behaving itself the lighting might be changing because it's quite sunny outside where the sun is going in and out right it's got some settings that you can put on and I know nothing about it but I was watching some videos and I've downloaded manual for this camera and the other day I was trying to video for you makeup tutorial with it and it was driving me crazy so if I zoom in and I it's brilliant because the, the picture you know is very sharp and everything but the background was going all like this which has happened to me before and people said what is going on with your background is making me feel sick then the color was changing terribly i would be almost green so pale almost green one minute then the next i would go all oompa loompa like so yesterday i spent four hours i swear four hours changing different settings on like the white balance the iso whatever that is but i've learned that that is important and um, i would record bits with different settings then i had to transport it to transfer it to my mac then see it and none of it looked good so because last night i was i was looking for new cameras i really would like to have the canon one but for what i do i don't know if i need to spend five six hundred pounds on a camera which is a lot of money and i've also learned yesterday from watching videos that the best lighting you know i know they have those diva ring lights and all other ones but the best one is what i've got here which is full daylight you can't beat that so and my blinds are a bit down Ooh. Sorry, but you see if I lift my blinds I'm even but I feel like I'm too pale then so I like them a bit down anyway today it looks so I've learned about this um, ISO whatever it is but I've changed that today and to me it looks quite good today anyway let me tell let me know what you think about this camera do you prefer me to to video on this today i'm really pleased because i can see it's really behaving itself but so i'm going to leave it on that setting and maybe maybe i've cracked it <laughs> but you never know if there is a miserable day um and it's not so sunny i i don't know i actually haven't tried my top light is not on let me turn that light on and see what that looks like okay so this is with the light on although those lights are very yellow not very good actually i'm going to change the lights in fact i want to do something to this room so i don't have to have this screen behind um i think it's a bit i like it but i think it's a bit um distracting i think i'd like i'd rather have like a nice 
neutral wall with pretty things on it. I don't know. So let me th know what you know what you think about this camera. My hair is not looking very nice today. It's a bit damaged since I had it had it um, done again. Anyway, yeah. So let me know what you think about this camera. Do you prefer it with this one? Because I know. I really love doing it on my Mac because it's so easy, it's all built in, there, 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 but it's not full HD and unless the lighting happens to be really good outside, it doesn't come out so good. Okay, my lovely, so like I said, I've probably um, uploaded on Monday or Sunday, I don't know. So if I upload it at the weekend, have a wonderful weekend. If I upload it on Monday, have a wonderful week. Thank you very much for watching and i see you soon. Bye!